All right, you guys, new week of dinner videos. So I'm starting kind of late in the week. It's just been one of those weeks. So last night we had leftover chicken enchilada soup. And the night before that we had some leftover ribs from this weekend. So tonight we're having taco salad. Typically um, I make like a taco shell, but I just don't have time for that tonight. So just made a salad with some ground beef. And there's some queso right there with some avocado and some sour cream. And then we have all sorts of dips over here. Uh, we also have some tortillas, so Matt made some soft tacos. And here's the baby's plates. Here you go. I like it. Mm. So that is what we're eating tonight. All right, you guys, tonight we're doing pizza. Uh, Papa John's in our area is doing a really great thing for a family who, um, there, there was an officer that was killed in the line of duty a few days ago, so they're donating all their proceeds uh, to that family for uh, today and the rest of the week if you use a special code. So anyway, we want to support that. So we got some pizza tonight. Cut. Um, I think this one is, yeah, this one is Philly cheesesteak, which I love Philly cheesesteak. So excited to try that. And the other two are pepperoni. So pizza night tonight. All right, you guys, tonight I made burrito bowls. So I got a little fancy and I put it in this nice little bowl that I have. But basically, um, it's just a cilantro lime rice there at the bottom. I make that every time. This time I did make a copycat version of Chipotle's barbacoa. So you just use a roast and a bunch of seasonings and you cook it in the crock pot, which is right there. And um, I've made it before. It's been a while, but it's pretty good. It's pretty similar to uh, the barbacoa at Chipotle. And then also some black beans with some Monterey Jack cheese. And then I also made some pico de gallo. All right, y'all, so tonight I made chicken tetrazzini. It's a recipe I found on Pinterest. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be. It smells pretty good though. And then just a bunch of mixed steamed veggies. I get these at Costco and then some garlic bread. All right, you guys, it's Sunday night dessert, so I made some ice brownies. So basically, it's just a box of brownie mix, and then I use half of a container of just some chocolate fudge icing, and I put that on top, and I'll save the other half of the icing for a dessert next week. I'm gonna make chocolate cake, and I decided, like I did last time, oh, the baby, see the brownies. I added some, um, right here some halloween sprinkles but i only added it to half because uh, matt doesn't want sprinkles on his but that is what we're having for dessert for y'all tonight i made some nachos so i just have some queso as you can see collecting over there i put them on top of or i put the queso on top of some tortilla chips and then this is the chipotle copycat barbacoa that i actually made the other night for burrito bowls so i just heated that up in the microwave real quick put that on top and then we have some pico de gallo that's left over from the burrito bowls the other night as well and then some sour cream so i just put it on this tray and we're just gonna sit here and eat it all right you guys tonight i made fried rice i found a recipe on pinterest and basically it's just white rice with some soy sauce and some sesame seed oil yes and then you uh cook some chicken which the recipe calls for chicken thighs i only had chicken breasts on hand so i used that up and then some mixed veggies i get those at costco and then some uh, green onions and some scrambled eggs and you cook it all together and it makes fried rice so first time making it and i think it turned out okay so that's what we're having tonight it's dessert sunday so i bought this cake from costco and it is really good and i have to be honest i bought the cake a few days ago and we have been basically snacking on it all week so i'm gonna whatever is left over tonight i'm gonna put it in the freezer and save that for a future dessert sunday but basically it's just chocolate cake and it has this chocolate mousse filling in the middle that's really, really good. And the icing is really good. It's just perfect. And it's like the perfect little slice of cake. Uh, we really enjoy it. So if you have not tried this cake yet at Costco, it's new apparently. Uh, I recommend it because it's a big, pretty big cake for only like 12 or 13 bucks. So anyway, we really like it. That's what we're having tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.